Well, welcome back to another episode, or really, upload. This isn't even an episode. This is something new. That was muscle memory that kicked in right there. Yeah. That's what, what are that we was. doing? What are we doing? Yeah. I don't know. For some odd reason, you decided to create more work for us. Right. So here we are, creating more content. This happens all the time. We look at what we're doing, and we're like, we should probably do more, even though we don't have the time to do the stuff that we're doing now. Literally not at all. So if you see us wearing the same clothes, it's because we live in the studio, <laughs> and this is what we do now. <laughs> Truth. But today... Coming up in the holiday season and looking at our content, we want to provide you guys with more information on whiskey that we reviewed. We have a lot of stuff. We do our Wednesday whiskey reviews. We have our spreadsheet on our website. It is, we're trying to provide you guys with more information on the best whiskeys to buy. And especially with this holiday season coming up, what whiskey to buy for the holidays and to impress your friends or whatever it may be. So today we have the top five bourbons under $50. This is our personal choice of what we feel is the best five bourbons under $50. It's not specific to Kentucky because Kentucky uh, bourbon can be made anywhere outside of Kentucky in the United States. So we have a couple outside of Kentucky. We have a couple inside of Kentucky based off of uh, certain reasons. And we're going to dive into them today with you. Yeah, so stop texting us and asking. We need help. Watch this video on repeat until you learn it for yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Teach a man to fish. Yeah, so, seriously. Well, before we dive in, please, if you do want, if you do like this video concept and you want more of this, leave a like down below. Put a comment down uh, as you watch this video. Let us know if there's something that we missed out or there's a Kentucky bourbon or regular bourbon that you would probably insert into this list. Oh, I can't wait for those comments. Yeah, I know, really. And also subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow and you'll be notified of every Thursday now that we're posting these type of videos. So hopefully you find some good content coming out of this and let us know down below. Buffalo Trace. The little baby bottle because Buffalo Trace is withholding their inventory for some ungodly Correct. reason, but that's fine. I actually got this as a Christmas gift. And the reason why this made it into the top five, primarily based off of the fact that it is a historic bourbon. So you're getting this for $33.99 at Addie's. Now prices, when it relates to, we're obviously based in New York, so prices in New York are different from throughout the country. So we're basing this list off of New York prices. Prices may vary. So it's $33.99 at Addie's, and it comes in at what? 90 proof. So you've had this obviously before. What do you like about it? I like the honey content within it, um, but I also just like the fact that it's not ethanol heavy Mm -hmm. up front, especially, because that's a lot of people's first reactions. Anything that hits them up front is what their general reaction to or is going to be for whiskey anyways. And I like the fact that this is more pleasant. You can also cut this with like a um, a large ice cube, a slow melt ice cube is what I was trying to come up with there. And in that, especially if you're new to whiskey, it'll just kind of give you the keynote aspects of a palate that you're generally going to be getting with mm-hmm. a bourbon. Yeah. And because of the price point, you don't feel bad drinking it and experimenting with it to then kind of grow your own palate and then continuously sipping it to refine certain things that you're picking up and having a discussion with somebody, friends, family, whatever. This product allows you to have that experience without feeling bad because you're like only thinking about how much you had to spend to have that conversation in the first place. And that's kind of why we went with the budget options, just because a lot of people aren't going to go out and spend more than 50 bucks on a bottle, especially if they don't know what they're looking at or buying in general. So um, that's really why I like Buffalo Trace and why it's in our top five. Four Roses. Uh, We went with their small batch. Let me touch on a few things for this. Its mash bill is 60% corn, 35% rye, and 5% malted barley. Comes in at 104. Um, It's aged for, sorry, this one does not. This, so their normal bottle is 90 proof. I was looking at a different bottle and I wrote that down because I was all excited about it. But anyways, 90 proof, same as Buffalo Trace. And if, honestly, 90 proof is generally where we were at for a lot of these. Yeah. Um, This is aged about six years. Um, This is around $36 per bottle. Again, it's going to vary. But this is readily available damn near everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's in our top four or top five, rather. It fits a lot of people's palates. Very similar to Buffalo Trace. Again, you're not breaking the bank. And it's recognizable for anybody who's new to the industry. All they have to do is look for a rose on the shelf. And then they're going to be able to find something that is worthy of being... 
um, consumed, but then also purchased. And it also looks good in your collection. So if it's just up on a shelf, you can impress somebody like, oh, you have four roses. So you kind of know what's going on. And then again, you're not really hurting yourself financially. Yeah. The cool thing about Four Roses too is that their other bourbon products, they are one of the few distilleries that I know that use a 10 recipe process. So what that means is that they have different yeast strains mm -hmm. and each yeast strain, they have five different yeast strains and two different mash bills. So the one that Mike talked about was a 60, uh, what was it again? 60 something, something? 60, 35, five. Yeah, 60, 35, five, right. And they have another mash bill at 75, 20% rye and 5% malted barley. And they mix those up with different yeast strains. So technically Four Roses can put out 10 different recipes of their bourbon. All of them are the same price, which is great. So if you are looking for a reliable brand that has brand recognition, that is very, very good tasting, and also you get some variability between bottles based off of the recipe that they used, this is just basically 10 bourbons in one. Yeah. And for anybody that may be watching this channel that does smoke cigars or is looking for ways to pair something with a cigar in the world of whiskey this is one option to do that um, especially if you have like a medium to low strength cigar anywhere from a strength one to three this does work well with that um, i may or may not know that from a lot of experience but yeah this is a great option that you can just easily pick up at your local liquor store and um and have something worthy in your hands for sure those are kentucky no more Kentucky, we're done. Kind of. <laughs> Number three, we have a three chord blended bourbon whiskey. And this is why it's kind of said, kind of done with Kentucky. So three chord is MGP product. So they get their whiskey, they source it, and then they blend it to get their preferred taste. Um, this is number three for us for many reasons. One is $39.99 at Eddie's. Again, price may vary based off of where you are. But this whiskey in particular is probably one of my favorites for literally anything. If you want it on the rocks, if you want it neat, or if you want it in a cocktail, this is one of the most versatile whiskeys that holds up in all three formats. I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. The, the flavor profile of this, again, this is coming in at 81 proof, so it's a little bit lower, which is shocking that it holds up so well in cocktails. But with this proof point, this is good for your experienced whiskey drinkers. This is good for your entry-level whiskey drinkers that are just starting to get into bourbon. And it's also good for people who are literally just want cocktails. It is such a versatile product that we felt that it needed to be in this segment somewhere because it fits any single person that you have over. Mm -hmm. Every single person. The nose and the smell and the taste of this is very intricate with uh, maple syrup, caramel, and vanilla. You're getting a lot of those sweet notes, but then the back end is finished with a heavy oak and wood. So it's, an, again, a nice complement of people who want a sweet product, but also want a little bit of a zing from a traditional bourbon and even a, a, like a rye. It has a rye pepper burn to it at the end, too. This yeah. is just a very versatile very different, distinct, blended bourbon product that can go with any single person that they want. Yeah, absolutely. Woodenville. This is one of my personal favorites. I always have a bottle of this in my house. This is something that you would put in a decanter, let it sit, you're good to go. Woodenville, they're straight bourbon because they also make a fantastic rye, uh, but their straight bourbon is 90 proof, Again, varies in price anywhere from $35 to $40 a bottle. What's nice about this is they have a uh, corn, rye, and malted barley mash bill. Fun fact for you guys on Woodenville, prior to being coopered, the barrel wood is seasoned in open air, rain, wind, sun, and snow for 18 months up in Washington. Why they do that is so that the wood becomes soft with their harsh tannins, and then they slow toast the barrels, then they char it on a heavy char, so I'm assuming a char four. And then what that does is that it makes it taste good to generally all whiskey lovers. So having that um, back end work done, when they, they age the actual whiskey inside the barrels, that's when it's pulling out everything else from the barrels and it provides a really, really nice flavor. I've had this neat out of a flask at weddings perfectly fine. I've had it in cocktails, perfectly fine. And then I've had this with a slow melt large ice cube, also perfectly fine. There is no reason you should not have Woodenville in your house. Um, if you're a 
passionate whiskey guy or gal and it's a nice bottle it's very durable wooden cork of course and yeah it's just a really nice everyday sipper all right number one before we get into our first whiskey that we would recommend for under fifty dollars let us know is there something in the top five that you would have put in the top five that we didn't there's so many different bourbons out there outside of kentucky in the united states there's so many different bourbons that we really struggle to put this list together so if there's something that you know that we missed out on or you feel should be in this top five let us know in the comments below number one is devil's river small batch we have talked countless about this bottle yes i'm stealing a little because right. i haven't had this in a long time this is to me the best whiskey this the best bourbon for this price range dude it's only 29 dollars. 29.99 i know the, how can you beat that the hard part is that it sells too damn fast <laughs> and it's so hard to keep up with demand because it's doing so well specifically in buffalo yeah not only because of the price but it backs it up this tastes better than thirty dollars mm -hmm. and when you have that spe uh, specifically in buffalo you run into a supply and demand issue however devil's river makes some of the best products for under forty dollars period absolutely and they're based in texas they use the physical Devil's River and the high limestone content for their water filtration process and to make their spirits. They do such a good job down there. And yes, their lineup is stacked yeah. and they don't really have a bad product, period. Highly recommend checking out Devil's River if you have not already. Yeah, this is 90 proof, so it goes down very smooth considering it's a 90 proof. It kind of feels like an 80 proof based off of what we just drank. Mm -hmm. This feels so, so clean going down. Uh, what I like about it is it's very sweet off the top of the tongue. And like Mike was saying, you can find a very similar product like this in different proof points within their lineup. So you have the small batch, you have the barrel strength, they also do a single barrel, and they do a distiller select, which and are right. variations of basically the same mash bill. The rise mm -hmm. a different mash bill, but right. you have the same product in, in this sense in different proof points. So you, as you grow as a bourbon enthusiast, can go up in proof point based off of where your preferred proof point is which that'll be a future video so if you're excited for that leave a like down below but the uh this is just great for everybody even though they offer those higher proof point products mike and i still gravitate towards a small batch because it just goes down for every occasion that's our first top five dude yeah that's our first top five so again let us know down below if you would have added anything else or if you agree with us you don't have to agree with us this is just our palettes and what we feel like is the best top five bourbon for under fifty dollars yeah i mean it's our opinion if you don't agree with it you're wrong yeah, no, i'm just get out of here no, i'm just kidding we need you uh but thank you everybody for joining today's episode if you are going to pick this up we do recommend locally at Addie's. Uh, all of our price ranges that we gave today are based off of what they have in stock if you are going to pick it up outside of state just remember that prices may vary and uh uh, stay tuned, subscribe, because there's going to be more episodes like this coming out soon. We have a top five bourbons under $100, and just the list goes on and on. So make sure you're involved. Make sure you're here to stay, because we got a lot of content coming for you. Absolutely. And if you're going to drink any of these bourbons or whiskeys or anything else that we tried today, please remember to drink responsibly, be a good person, and Michael. Do not litter. We're out. We're out.